Yes, yes. And finally, the package comes in. Oh, this one had me worried for a bit. It cleared customs. And uh, it was just sitting there for like five days. I was just watching it on the tracking. But it finally came through. All right, let's do it. Boom. Looking real pretty. This is my uh, track and field jacket, I guess, I guess you would call it. I'm not sure the exact name of this collection, but bang, holy moly. I love how this shit looks like a, let me get a better view of this. But yeah, I love how this shit looks like a NASCAR jacket. And then bang, you got the black eye on the front. Very, very special. I seen this jacket when I first came out, and because it had the big, uh, uh, the big American flag on it, I was like, ah, you know, I'm not American. I don't mind stuff like that, but this is a big flag. But come on, how often do you get a low with the black eye on there? This was like 1938. So that's gotta be like the, yeah, it's gotta be a homeboy, Jesse, Jesse Owens. Yeah, that was the Olympics. That was um, Hitler's Olympics. And then Jesse Owens won all them races in front of Hitler and shit, kind of embarrassed the homeboy. Well, not the homeboy, but you know what I mean. He was on some blonde hair, blue eye is superior. And to see a black guy win all those races right in front of him, that was a that was a big win for America, for black folks, for all that good stuff. I don't think that's Jesse Owens. I think that's just sort of Ralph Lauren's sort of version of Jesse Owens. But it's definitely inspired by Jesse Owens, 1938. That's just before World War Two. And that's when Jesse Owens went to the Olympics. And then on the back, you got like a white guy and then like a brown guy. I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they're, uh, yeah, it just looks like they're running. It doesn't look like a racetrack underneath, but you got that nice bright blue, that nice bright yellow, the marathon and the green. I wonder what this looks like with the collar popped up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This jacket is just dope all over. Everywhere you look on it, it's just nice and bright. That looks really, really dope. You even got like a patch right here. Get a better look at that. Great detail all over the joint. Sheets. Really, really, really dope. Let's check out the inside. Now the jacket's not a heavy jacket. It's definitely a spring jacket. It's um doesn't feel cheap, but it's definitely thin. As you can see, I'm a large. I got this in a large. Sometimes you get jackets. Sometimes you got to get jackets in a, a size bigger, but not this one. Especially with these classic pieces, these retro style pieces, they all fit a size bigger than you than than you normally like what you're used to. So this L right here is gonna fit like almost like an extra large. But that's only on like the classic pieces, the stadium joints, the uh, snow beach joints, you know, the cross uh, flags joints. Um, all the retros fit a size big or maybe like a half size bigger. Yeah. Uh, let me get my, uh, hold on a sec. Bang. So as you can see, 
I'm going to wear this shirt underneath this jacket. I will have it unzip so that you can peek through and see the track meet, the track meet on track meet joints. Two very, very dope collector pieces. This one was going for a really good price. This one didn't have a high resale price on it. This one hit me up a little bit, but that's mostly because of the shipping and the conversion into Canadian dollars um, and the import taxes. Goodness gracious. That's what hits us hard in Canada. They give you, they hit you with a, hard, a higher tax rate when you buy something from overseas. Maybe not everywhere, but especially the U.S. You buy something from the U.S. and Canada, oh, you're getting hit with a heavy tax rate. But this piece right here was definitely worth it. Sheets. Yep, yep. So they got a bucket hat that I'm trying to get my hands on. There was one on eBay, but uh, I think my size sold out. I need a small bucket hat to fit really big. There's also a track meet sneaker. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that one. Uh, what else is there? There's a few other pieces. Oh, yeah, there's a button up. It's not quite part of the track meet collection, but it works really well. I could also wear that underneath this jacket. But yeah, to be continued with my track meet collection. Yes, yes. I will see y'all the next video. Peace.